strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these... worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please. Only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Of 
was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Always makes my day better. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Yeah. And I'm way too hot to touch. She's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. We all have our shit to bear. As long as you remember your manners, Astarian, you're welcome at my fire. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A pity. Just be grateful I'm not a true vampire. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Until the crash, when I woke up bathed in its light. Perhaps I am. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Now I stand here like it's nothing. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. No more surprises. You have my word. Vamps don't scare me, as long as they keep their teeth to themselves. No sense judging someone for who they are. Except devils, obviously. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. I wouldn't recommend it. I won't get you, but the Mind Flayers might. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. You try. 
try to push him back, but his grip just gets tighter. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. Swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. how weak your voice is. So can he. But he doesn't care. He's long past caring. You feel a little cold, but that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Something terrible's happened. <laughs> that... That was amazing. is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. <sighs> ah, don't be so dramatic. This is just a little transaction between friends. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. from his eyes. Don't be so dramatic. This is just a little transaction between friends. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. You toss me aside over this. Fine. See how far you get without me. Toss me aside over this. Ah. All right. 
right. How did I miss that that guy was a vampire? Blinded by good hair, not for the last time. He wasn't the worst company, bloodlust aside. Part of me will miss him. Are you simple? He tried to drain one of us like a stuck pig. But he didn't, right? We learned a good lesson for pretty cheap. If you say so. You are just fortunate he did not go for my neck. I would not be so agreeable if he had. It doesn't matter. Astarian's gone. Now just hope he doesn't come creeping back next time he's hungry. No, we won't. From now on, we'll only make new, interesting mistakes.